In this video, I'm going to describe how I charge my electric bike with a J1772 plug, which is commonly used for charging cars. This particular plug uh, comes on an EVSE that uh, is used on my Nissan Leaf to charge it at home, and now I can use it to charge my future e-bike. It's pretty simple to do, and it doesn't... Uh, stop you from using 110 volts in a regular plug if you want to. This just allows you when you're out and about your parking garage or at a grocery store, uh, wherever you can find these free chargers uh, all over the place, that you'll be able to plug in uh, and uh, not have to gorilla charge or anything silly like that. So the standard you can find on Wikipedia for SAE J1772, and that's the standard for how this particular plug works. And uh, the way it works is it essentially passes AC to these two orange cables in the back. And in order to tell it uh, what to do, uh, it is controlled by a variable voltage. And that voltage comes in on pin 4 of the J1772 plug. And the EVSE measures the voltage between pin 4 and the ground to determine what to do. So I've got pin 4 uh, coming in right here onto this little voltage divider network. Uh, this comes in as a, 12, a 1 kilohertz 12 volt square wave from the EVSE, and then as you change the voltage from 12 volts to other voltages, the EVSE, that's the way to communicate with the EVSE. So uh, in the standard, there um, there's a, uh, a number of voltages for doing different things. Uh, the standard says nine volts on across this, uh, from this wire, the 12 volts pin four, and pin three, the ground wire. Uh, tw 12 volts is open, and that means that the EVSE believes nothing is connected, which makes sense. If you uh, bring the voltage potential between these two wires down to 9 volts, in other words, you go through a 2.7 kilo ohm resistor uh, after this diode, that uh, brings it down to 9 volts, and that lets the EVSE know that a, a vehicle is connected, but not to charge. And then if you want to start the charging, you need to bring the total system voltage down to about 6 volts, uh, plus or minus 1, which uh, requires a additional resistor in series, sorry, in parallel. And that's a, nominally a 1.3 kilo ohm resistor in parallel with the 2.7 kilo ohm resistor. I only had a 1.2 kilo ohm resistor, but that works uh, just fine because the standard is so loose at 6 volts, plus or minus 1. So all this switch does here is it takes the, the normal path, which is just from pin three, sorry, pin, sorry, from pin four, through the diode, through this resistor, back to ground, and then it parallels, the switch parallels this second resistor in place. So these two resistors in parallel end up being around 800 ohms. And that 800 ohms drops the voltage down to the correct level to make the EVSC put uh, voltage onto these two wires. Uh, and those two wires can be 110 volts for level 1 or 220 volts for level 2. Uh, and in order to use that, I connected uh, those wires and the ground to my cycle satiator from ebikes.ca. The cycle satiator is a wonderful uh, battery charger that allows you to do program the uh, different voltages for your pack very specifically. Right now I have it charging my 72 volt pack up to only 85% uh, capacity uh, as default. That way I can save my uh, battery life considerably. And as the default, as soon as you plug it in, the cycle satiator will just start charging. Now I can use these buttons on the outside to change the charge profile as I uh, desire up to 100% or less or or, or change a different battery pack even if I so desire. Uh, but as it stands right now, I just plug in the uh, J1772 plug, flip the charging switch, and the cycle satiator takes care of the rest. Of course, if you do this, you wanna make sure and have a BMS hooked up to your uh, lithium battery pack such that if you're charging in public, it'd be really bad to uh, burn down somebody else's car. So make sure and use a BMS. Mine is not yet installed. I fried it, but uh, it will be installed before I use this in public. So let me show you how it works. So you just plug this in. Clicks in. Flip the switch. 
you can see the cycle satiator come on. It immediately goes to its default settings and begins charging the battery pack. Simple as that. When you're done, just unplug it. And uh, you go on your way. Hope you enjoyed the video.